Illustrator CC 2020 is all about those minor updates to give you overall better experience. There are no major tools or panels in here. However, you might be getting an overall convenient experience using this version of Adobe Illustrator. So let's get our panels and tools back, pressing tab. So starting first with Simplify Path, that feature in here, we can see that artboard, if we have any character selected, maybe that one in here, we can see how many anchor points in our shape. And we already had that feature before in Adobe Illustrator to simplify our path. However, now it's slightly improved. So let me first select all our anchor points, switching to selection tool instead to select the entire shape, then going to object path, then simplify. Now they have even simplified the simplify path option as you can see. So you get that slider in here either for maximum anchor points or fewer ones. And also you get that nice feature as well, auto simplify. So Illustrator in that case is trying not to mess your shapes. However, it's trying to reduce your anchor points, maybe for a cleaner path and curvature or for a smaller file size. And of course, if you would like to do it manually, you can use that slider, maybe for fewer points or maybe select auto again. And if you'd like to go even deeper for more options, you can check that button in here for more options where you get the same controls in here for minimum points or maximum ones. And you can show original path from here if you'd like to compare between both of them and how many points you had before and your new anchor points count in here. You already probably know about these cause they have been already in Illustrator for a while. However, that's slightly improved as you can see. Moving to our next new feature in Adobe Illustrator, here you can remove your anchor points without actually destroying your vector shapes. So here for instance, we have that curve. Let me select direct selection tool or pressing A. You can see your anchor points in here. Let's go to maybe that tool in here, delete anchor point tool. And let's go ahead and delete that anchor point. <laughs> this is how our shape will look like. And that's because we have almost a straight line between these two anchor points in here. So let's quickly undo that pressing command or control Z. And instead of removing that anchor point, I'm going to be holding shift key before I do that. So now I'm pressing shift key, clicking. And now Illustrator is using that handle and that handle in here to maintain some curvature between those two anchor points. Another cool new feature in Adobe Illustrator is that now you can recolor your freeform gradients. So here we have some circles on top of each others. Each of them has gradients using freeform tool. So now I can select maybe one of them or all of these circles pressing shift and selecting that one as well and maybe that one in center. And now I can go to recolor artwork. And you can either customize your colors from here or go to edit. Then you can link your colors, maybe for instance, and start looking for different hues and colors. Easily like that. A very nice feature, as you can see, to get even cooler colors of our already existing cool gradients. Another very important feature for each creative using Adobe Illustrator has been finally added to Illustrator and that one is auto spell checking. So let's say you'd like to check your spelling mistakes. It's so easy. You can select your type, either it's paragraph or line and you can right click your type. You'll find spelling. You can select auto spell check, which is not activated by default. So you need to enable that one either from here or by going to edit. Then you will find spelling as well from here. You can enable that one and it will be checking your typing mistakes through your entire document. So let's go back to our paragraph for instance and let's zoom in. So you can see these red lines in here. As you can see, we have typing mistakes in here. You can easily fix them selecting your type tool, pressing T on keyboard, then clicking in here, right clicking, 
you can see different suggestions going with that one and same as well for paragraph right clicking selecting that one and that one isn't actually an english so there is no way to fix that one if we right click we can't find any suggestions in here and that's totally fine so i'm gonna leave that one and here's a quick tip for you guys make sure that you have your language for your type in english if you are correcting that one in english so let me quickly show you guys what i mean by that opening our character panel here we have our type selected make sure that you have your language in here as if you have a different language selected in here maybe french for instance and still you have english in your paragraph illustrator will think it's french and it will highlight all your words in your paragraph even if they are in english so make sure you are always selecting the correct language for your type now in Illustrator CC 2020, most of your effects are going to be rendered faster, especially those raster effects like Gaussian Blur and Drop Shadow. So let's quickly apply any of these effects on our circle. Then going to Effect, and let's maybe select from Photoshop effects, which are known to be a bit heavy in Illustrator, and going to Blur, Gaussian Blur. Then let's enable Preview. And you can see how quickly it's being applied to our shape in lifetime. So let's apply that. And let's maybe apply also drop shadow. So let's go to effect. And if you can't really memorize where each and every effect in here, you can quickly search for that one in health. So let's maybe type drop shadow. And instantly you can see that we have in menu items, just by hovering over that one, you can see in effects. Stylize drop shadow. Very convenient way to find your tools, effects, or anything in Illustrator. So let's select that one from here. Preview. And let's start spreading that one, holding Shift key and clicking in here to add 10 at one time. And Y as well. Adding blur. Well, this is really fast as you can see and you can easily imagine how your effects will look like on your shapes. Another new feature when it comes to faster workflows and that one is called background save and export. And simply now you can press command or control S or save in your file. And while Illustrator is saving your file, you can still work on your file. So let's press command or control S to save that file. Now you can see your saving progress in here, saving and you can still access your file instead of having that blue bar which we used to in previous versions in Adobe Illustrator. This actually can be saving you tons of time especially if you're working on a complicated file. But bear in mind guys that this only works on Illustrator's native file format, the AI file format, and it doesn't really work on any other file format like EPS or so. So these are the main improvements and updates to Illustrator CC 2020. Hope you enjoyed that video and it's time for you guys to go experiment with the new Illustrator CC 2020.